Hey, Briley. Chris, uh, Chris Kleiman mentioned that you guys had a pretty productive team meeting uh, maybe yesterday. Well, what kind of stuff did you guys talk about during that meeting? Um, you know, we talked about uh, – he talked about after the game accountability. Um, but, you know, the biggest thing I think that we took from it was, yeah, we have a lot to learn from that game. But, you know, we're, we're into Baylor prep now and it's time to move on, take what we learned um, and continue to just, to just pound the stone one day at a time and get better um, and flush it at this point. Coming off a game like that on offense where you seem to do very little right, how, I mean, how, do you go back and evaluate it or will just move on, just move as far away from it as you can? What's the deal there? Um, you would like to just move on as far away as you can and not look at it. But, um, you know, you have to. We all um, – we watched it as a full offense uh, together, um, which I think was really good. Um, you hear the different coaches um, talking to their players and stuff and, you know, coaches making sure that they, they point out everything, whether, you know, we were to win a game or, or lose the way that we did. Um, so I think it was really productive, um, which I think led to one of our best Monday practices that we've had um, in the past few weeks, for sure, um, energy-wise, um, how, how locked in and focused we were. So, um, you know, you never want that to happen. But, you know, I think we, we took it, um, learned from it, and, and grew um, in just, you know, 48 hours. John? Yeah, Briley, I know obviously you did play on, on Saturday, but were you close to 100%? I mean, how, how healthy would you say that you were on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, I was I was out there. I felt great. Um, didn't have any problems uh, with the back. Um, felt good. And I was, I was 100% out there, um, which was a good feeling. Uh, you know, the coaches did a great job throughout the week of, um, you know, starting, starting low and then just building the amount of reps that I got throughout, throughout the week. And uh, I was able to go 100%. No, one thing that the coach had mentioned after the game, and you kind of alluded to it there too, was just accountability issues, making sure you guys are holding each other accountable. Uh, how, how long have you seen that there might have been some cracks as far as that was concerned um, with, with you guys? Um, I don't know. I, you know, there's, there's always going to be those issues. Um, and I think, you know, the biggest thing with it is that coach gives us you know, the reins to the team to take control gives, he gives the leaders, um, you know, all the accountability in the program. He always says that this isn't his team, it's our team, um, which is a beautiful thing. But, um, you know, with that being said, you know, we have to step up and make sure that, you know, we don't take advantage of that and, you know, let things, let things slide. Um, so I've seen it's, it's been getting better, um, you know, but we just got to continue, um, you know, whether it's a fifth year senior like myself or a freshman like Deuce Vaughn, you know, like we just got to continue to to make sure we hold everybody accountable um, on and off the field. I was going to ask you too, I don't know how much you've, you've had a chance to talk with Will since the game, but just how has he handled, you know, everything that happened on Saturday? I mean, he, he's a great guy. He's a great teammate. Um, you, you would have never noticed on the sideline. He wasn't pouting. You know, he was doing everything that he could to help his teammates. Um, you know, he was, he was, keeping our spirits up. He was helping us in the huddle. Um, you know, whenever you have a guy like that, that's that young in that situation, um, I, I would say it's pretty rare it's for somebody to handle it the way he did. Um, and, you know, he came and had a great practice yesterday. He came and attacked the day um, as well as Nick did. So, you know, when you have a, you have guys like that, especially at the quarterback position, um, you know, your, your team is going to be successful because of the people that are in it. Appreciate it, Bradley. Thanks. Yep, thank you. It's hey Bradley, uh, your injury was one of those that at watching the game that kind of makes everyone wince. How much did that hurt? Oh, it was bad. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, it was at first I, I wasn't sure how serious it was, and then it, it kind of calmed down. And then we tried to uh, they tried to get me to stand up, and then it just completely locked up again. And you know, I was trying to move around and and work with the doctor and, and come back in the game. Uh, wasn't able to. We ended up finding out the next day that it's probably better I didn't go in. Um, but, you know, it's football, and the guy made a, a good play. It was he, he put his shoulder pad right in right into my lower back. Um, you know, it is, it is what it is. It's a, a physical sport. Um, 
I've asked you this before, but as a new guy, uh, you have kind of established yourself as a leader. Is that more difficult after a 45 nothing loss to have Briley Moore step up and talk to his teammates? Um, no, I think it's more important. You know, I'm one of the older guys on the team. I have a lot of experience. Um, you know, so I think it's important whether you whether I'm new or I've been here for my my entire career. Um, you know, it happens, and you know it, it, it's over with. We got to learn from it, and we can't let it affect us this week. Um, you know, guys like Noah Johnson, um, one of the best leaders that I've I've been around. Uh, even Skyler, who's who's not playing right now, an amazing leader. Um, so we just got to continue to to push that message, um, like we've talked about many times, hold each other accountable and, and just keep on going. In the course of a month, 4-0 and became 4-3 and in the conference. What is the sense of urgency to get back on the winning track? <laughs> um, it's, it's high, you know, and football's, football's like that. You can go 4-0 and and think you're on top of the world, and all of a sudden, three weeks later, you're 0-3. You're I mean, it, you know, that's just, that's just the type of sport that it is. Um, so, you know, I think we've done, done a great job in the past 24 hours. Um, but you know, it's, it's going to continue to be more important to how we, you know, how we attack today and then tomorrow. Um, and then Saturday ultimately is what will show what type of sense of urgency we have to, to get that back going. But, you know, I think, I think everybody's doing, doing the right things as well as you can after, um, a loss like that to get, to get back on that track. We've got three hands raised. We'll uh, go through those three, starting with Kellis. Sorry, Bradley. I, I had one more for you. Um, yeah. <laughs> what, uh, it seems like slow starts have kind of put you guys behind the eight ball in some recent losses. How so? How important does that make you know getting an early lead at Baylor this week? Uh, very, very important. Um, you know, we to start that game, we were we were moving. We had a great drive going, and then. Um, we just simply didn't execute once we got into the low red, um, low red zone there on Saturday, and you know that's something that we have to uh, we have to take pride in in scoring, um, you know, preferably touchdowns. Um, we just got to continue to execute, and that's all it was. You know, we had the right plays called, but you know it's just a couple missed assignments here, a couple missed assignments there, and then all of a sudden you go four and out down there. So you know we have to have a sense of urgency to. Um, convert once we get in those situations, um, especially when the coaches put us in great situations like they did. Um, so you know we just gotta we just gotta continue to to get better and um, take advantage of those those opportunities. Arnie, yeah, Bradley, you talked about watching the the game as an offensive unit, and I know Coach Kleiman said Thanksgiving you guys are going to have a meal all together. But how much has that been missing? Um, this year with the, just those opportunities uh, to be together as a team and how maybe has that affected just uh, maybe some of the issues that you might have now? Yeah. Um, early, I would say that, you know, especially being a new guy, I wasn't able to get around everybody, um, you know, which wasn't great. But once we actually were able to get, get things rolling, um, you know, we're, kind of we're essentially in our own bubble so we you know we are around each other every day and you know majority of the interactions that we have are with each other so you know this the team has great um camaraderie and you know great relationships so i don't i don't think that there's there's any problem like that i would say that it's pretty exceptional honestly for for how things are going um in the country right now especially around college football and you know, this coaching staff does, I mean, they're amazing. They're, you know, like you said, putting together a uh, Thanksgiving dinner for us all whenever we can't go home and see our families and stuff. And that's just, that just shows the type of leadership that we have from, from the top, um, starting with Coach Kleiman and on down, um, you know, and, and the type of culture that we have at this program, which is, I mean, it's just exceptional. Last one here, Ryan. Hey, uh, Briley, you know, given given your background before you got to K-State, I, I know you're more familiar with this coaching staff's success at North Dakota State than anybody. And uh, I'm sure it doesn't surprise you to know this was the most – Saturday was the most lopsided loss they've ever had. 
have you noticed maybe just a different edge from them since Saturday because of that? Because again, they're just not they're not used to ever getting beat like like they did Saturday. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, I'm I'm not surprised to hear that that that's the uh, you know the biggest margin. Um, but you know they were obviously upset, but they didn't come in there and just start yelling at us and stuff. You know, it was a I mean, it was we had a great meeting um, and a great practice, and I think you know the way that they handled it is the reason that we were able to have such a productive day yesterday because um you know it starts starts at the top and they uh they showed great leadership by you know obviously pointing out the things that we got to do better but it it wasn't in in a way that they're yelling at us and and pointing fingers you know they they started off by by putting the blame first on them um so it's just I think they're doing a great job, um, you know, of handling it. We've obviously only had one day together with having Sunday off, but um, and, and now it's on it's on us to make sure that we answer the call and continue to uh, get better each day this week.